All right, so today we are on Knob Schoolhouse Road here in Sonora, and we are going to do an install where we are connecting one of our customers that is six and a half to seven miles away from our nearest water tower. We're gonna be using a power beam. Let's get into it. Currently, they are using Windstream, which is getting them about 10 or 11 meg, but it's starting to slow down during peak hour some, and they want something that's faster and more affordable. So we're gonna be mounting this on the corner of the house here since the only other face on the side of the house here is gonna be blocking our tower site. So we're gonna mount our J-arm right here and the water tower that we are gonna be connecting to is that tiny little speck in the middle of your screen. That's our industrial park water tower. And I did look on the map, it's about seven miles away. So let's see how this does. So today's weapon of choice is we're gonna be using a Ubiquiti Power Beam 5AC. All right, so we have everything we need here. We've got the dish, we've got the bolts, we've got the mounting hardware and the feed horn. So let's get this built. I ruined my transition there, but this little thing right here from Harbor Freight is excellent. We use these when assembling our dishes and tightening our J-arms. It's got all different size sockets on it. And there we go, it's all built. So since this is a larger dish, we're actually gonna be using some larger bolts than the typical like quarter inch uh, screws that we use most of the time. So we've already got our First hole marked right there, so we're gonna drill a pilot hole and then we'll put the second one in. All right, our J-arm is mounted up and the two bolts are tight. All right, so our dish is mounted and we have it pointed roughly at our water tower right there. So now we take our PoE battery bank and plug it up to the power beam. That way we can go ahead and align it and get everything done while we're here. You may be able to see it, but right there in the center of the screen is actually our main tower that's nine miles away. I can still see it, clear line of sight, but probably gonna be a bit too far for this install. Check that out. Negative 62, negative 61. And check that out. It's actually more than that. It's eight miles based on our tower coverage information to our Larue SO4, which is our industrial park. Eight miles. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get this cable ran up into the soffit to where it stays hidden. We don't have a cable on the outside of the brick exterior. We're gonna bring it down to the gutter and we're gonna splice into one of the ethernet cables that's over there by the windstream box. We are chugging along. And there is our final result. So let's go check out outside how all that looks. All right, so our cable starts at our dish there and goes up into the soffit, down, and it comes down behind the gutter over here. Now, since this is a new construction home, they had two ethernet cables ran to the outside that we had to tie into. So we're gonna get a four x four box and mount it probably right here or right here. That way this stays nice and dry. So that's how we do an install and that's the power of fixed wireless. Eight miles away and doing over a hundred meg.